Hi YouTube, crazy hair today. I want to bring y'all in the kitchen today and show y'all what I'm cooking and how much I'm loving HelloFresh. Let me flip the camera. HelloFresh, spicy coconut curry chicken soup. Has all the ingredients listed and you get them in a bag. And usually I'm doing one bag, but I got two of these for free because you can earn um, gifts with HelloFresh, which I think is amazing. And on the back side of the card, it tells you how to um, prep it and cook it. And most of the meals that we get from them are usually about a 30 to 35 minute prep time. But uh, I make my own chicken curry soup at home using our lemongrass that we grow in the garden and stuff. And uh, right now my lemongrass is brown. <laughs> Because we just came out of fall, and I'm glad I haven't trimmed it yet because we just had another frost last week in about 26 degrees. And a banana plant that I planted is brown now. Uh, I feel like, I told Tony, I'm so glad I did not trim my lemongrass yet because I use the brown for chop and drop, and I also use it in my chicken run, chicken house, and nesting boxes because even the brown lemongrass smells delicious. But anyway, back to HelloFresh. Um, so, I'm cooking all three of them. I got two meals for free. So, I had already picked this in my cart, and I added two more of the spicy coconut curry chicken soup. So, I had three three of them. That's why you see three bags of cabbage. Um, now, a lot of times, I will add some of my own ingredients uh, to a recipe. I don't do it all the time, but occasionally. So, I did add a julienne chopped um, onion to this, and I was letting it caramelize a little bit. I always like to have some uh, cooking wine. This is just regular Chardonnay. It's a clear wine. You just finish all of it on hand to deglaze the pan. And now I'm going to um, add the uh, cabbage in in a second and let that start simmering down just a little bit, kind of saute it, you know, a little bit, all three of those. Then I'm going to add some of the green chopped onion. I'm going to save some of it to garnish our bowl of soup with uh, the, the top parts of the onion. This for sure will go in the pot for some simmer. And then here's all the ingredients. Just remember times it by three because I had three of them. That's my three bags. And um, that also came with, spin y'all around for a minute, three HelloFresh chickens. So, I need to cook my chicken also. So, I got my veggies kind of already going. I'm probably going to put the chicken in next before I do my cabbage. And then I'll put my cabbage in after this is cooked just to kind of lightly saute it. And then I'll add my green onion in there. And then I'll start adding my seasonings and building up my liquid base, which uh, these are chicken concentrate. Their coconut milk is so freaking delicious. It's like thick. I just love it. I always keep a, a case of Azure Standards coconut milk and coconut cream in the pantry. And I'm actually out of it right now. So I will be placing an order this month for that. But um, And then it also came with some cornstarch. Uh, I typically use Azure Standards, um, I can't think, um, arrowroot powder. Which is the same. It's, a, it's from a root plant and it does just exactly what cornstarch does. Um, so anyway, if anyone has issues with corn, you can use arrowroot powder, but we don't have issues with corn. I'll probably use it. So, um, let's finish this up and I'll come back whenever I start building the soup up. Okay, I've got my chicken added in here. I wanted to look at something real quick. It says chicken breast strips. Um, I, it's not strips. It's not chicken strips. It's pieces. So, I don't know how fresh is. You don't know. I always think I'm going to have a chicken strip in there, but I actually like the pieces, but I think the wording is kind of throws me off, but uh, look at that caramelization going on there. I'll pick up some of that with some more wine in a minute, but uh, I'm going to saute my chicken. That's three packs, and then we're going to uh, build the rest. All right, I have got uh, Azure Standard's vegetable broth. I have their beef, chicken, and, and here's a vegetable. And I, I chose, uh, I could have done chicken because I'm doing a chicken dinner, but um, I love their vegetable broth. Um, it, it's kind of got a sweetness to it. And I like my soups a little on the sweet side. Um, 
plus it adds, you know, some more vegetable influence to the soup. But um, I did about two heaping tablespoons of that in there. Um, and the reason I'm cooking so much, uh, I want to freeze some of it. That's why I'm going to go ahead and cook all three of them because this would have not lasted long in the for, in the fridge. It would have started browning on me. You know, the meat, you can always freeze it. Um, but I bought these today. I also use the prep meal containers and I have a freezer full right now of uh, anti-inflammatory soup that I did with turmeric and um, uh, beef collagen. But I wanted something a little deeper and bigger that could be a two serving size for two people. So I'm gonna use those when I, we're gonna eat it for supper tonight, of course, but anything that's left, I'm gonna uh, pack those up and pop them in the freezer. And Tony and I have um, some soup that we can pull out for a quick meal. Garden season is up on us. We are planting this weekend and we're very excited. And one thing we're learning with gardening is this is the time to grow, so, so grow and put up for the fall gather your nuts and and then lay up in the fall and have food stored up you know for you to enjoy um of course we'll enjoy it all summer long too but it's a busy season coming up and i like to have quick meals that we can throw down and i'm super happy to have this coming too because uh i, I hardly go to the grocery store anymore y'all i was going maybe once a week 250 dollars a week um uh, to the store and buying and trying to have to think what we were going to eat that week and just, you know just it was exhausting and the store is not always so fun to go to especially now with all the price gouging and everything but we spend seventy dollars a week with hello fresh we have chosen a two-person um plan and three meals because we do have deer in the freezer and we cook tony likes to grill on the weekends so We've been doing this for over a year now, and we have found that it really helps us get through the week. Um, I have meals cooked up and ready when he gets home from work, and uh, it's so easy and it's fun um, and fresh. I mean, it really is. They're, they have the most beautiful vegetables, y'all, and I even saved some of their delicata seed, and I have it in my barn right now. Um, I did I saved seed and I did some starts with it and they are coming up beautifully we're going to put those in the garden this weekend from HelloFresh isn't that cool and then I also saved their onion cut cutoffs um this is all HelloFresh except for the lettuce um I'm gonna plant those as well and have some of their onion growing uh but anyway I just felt like I needed to come on I've talked about HelloFresh on here before but I'm pretty convinced that we love it also, next week, we're going to be going out of town uh, for a few days. Uh, you're able to cancel a, anytime you want. So, I go into the app, and for next week's shipment, which comes every Tuesday, I put skip. And it asks why, and I put, we'll, not, we'll be out of town. Go away. Phone was ringing. Hope it didn't stop my video. Um, anyway, so... I'm going to finish putting it together, and I'll let y'all see us take a bite uh, of our meal tonight, okay? Hope y'all are doing good. I'm uh, hoping to come back this weekend and show y'all some things we're planting. Hello, I'm back. Okay, uh, I'm doing extras, y'all. This is not part of their instructions, but I, that's what I also like about it is I can do my, uh, my, my own, you know, flavor flav to the meal and, and do my intuitive cooking that I like to do. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to deglaze this little and get these yummy parts up off the pot with that wine, the last bit of that wine there from uh, Fiesta Winery in Fredericksburg, Texas. Chick baby. And then this is also additional. I, I don't have to do this, but I want to um, make a big pot of soup. So I want to increase the liquid so that we can eat it for supper tonight. And I can also freeze some back. Uh, and have you know maybe at least four more meals for us out of this um, recipe so I added water to the Azure standard uh, chick vegetable broth I'm not going to add that just yet it'll probably be the last thing that I do I'm going to go ahead and add in my cabbage and cook it down just a little bit I don't mind it having you know kind of a crunch and what I like about um, this style of chop 
this is julienne and i did my onion the same way it kind of mimics a noodle you know and we are very carb free here as much as we can be um i do eat quinoa i do eat sweet potatoes um i've done elimination diet it was about about a year ago or a year and a half ago and two things that i have recognized rice causes me inflammation which I, i'm sad about because i love me some rice but quinoa does not raw cashews causes me to have like a rash in the corner of my mouth what the heck because <laughs> i love cashews and i i love the recipes that people use raw cashews for you know for making um dressings and stuff and cheese sauces and all that so anyway but noodles you know I, don't, I try to stay away from them and this kind of makes me feel like i'm getting some kind of a noodle in there because of the the style of cut that that is okay so i'm gonna let that simmer i'm gonna stir it a little more once that's simmered i'll probably toss in my seasonings um and then we'll start putting all the rest of the ingredients in here goes the delicious curry powder. That was what was in all three of those, in which I have the jar of um, Azure Standard vegetable broth you just saw. I have a jar that size of Azure Standard's curry powder. It's one of the best flavors when you do this particular dish. It's kind of like an Indian dish, I believe, uh, and I love it. So I'm gonna kind of get that incorporated in for the flavor. It's gonna kick it up. And I'll start adding the rest. Here goes the chicken stock. Thinking one of them didn't get cut. I'm gonna have to go back and cut it again. Sorry. Maybe a couple of them. Hang on. I'm sad that I wasted a little bit of that because that's how delicious it is, but we still have a lot left. Plenty left. This is the uh, sweet Thai chili sauce glaze. That's going to add your sweetness. If I didn't have this sauce and I was making my own soup, I would be using my organic cane sugar from Azure Standard or even honey. Okay, so I haven't even stirred yet. I, the chicken stock's right there. I just added the uh, sweet chili sauce. I'm going to add my coconut. milk. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm going to just mix all this up before I add my chicken stock. And I do like a thick soup and I like a lot of liquid. Um, so that is why I'm going to add that over there in the end. And then I will use most likely, like I said, my uh, arrowroot powder in this same glass here and I'll make a slurry with some cold water with it and add that to the soup to kind of thicken it up some more because I'm going to be thinning it out when I add that in there. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and add that while I have you here. Let me stir it for a second. Get some of that off the bottom. Still need to add some green onion. See how much it bulked up that meal. Now we have even more food to eat. And then, of course, I'll sample taste it and see if I need to adjust any of the salt and pepper in there. Or even curry powder if I want to add more, you know. Uh, and I'm going to zest some lime or lemon, either one. The meal came with lime. I'm going to zest some lime into it. And then we'll have wedges to squeeze fresh lime into our bowls. Hello, beautiful people again. <clears throat> okay, I got my Azure Standard Arrowroot Powder. They were out of it not too long ago. I like my jar full. So I might have to add that to my list this month. I also use it for other reasons cosmetically. But, um, that's about, I must, let me do, since I have such a big pot, maybe about a tablespoon and a half. And then I have some cold water here gonna do a little bit of time kind of just like you do a slurry with cornstarch it's no different I use this a lot also in my uh, carb free bars do I have that recipe in here yeah I do this is the best recipe I got it from 
down Shiftology girl, I believe. I think it was her. I don't remember. But so delicious. And see, I replaced tapioca flour with their arrowroot powder. Works the same way, basically. Okay, I don't feel any chunks in there. So you want to bring it to a boil. I'm going to let this come to a boil. And then I will work my slurry in. It's almost there, actually. I can see it kind of boiling. So let's go ahead and do it. Just going to get it in there. And as it continues to boil with this added slurry, let's get it all in there. Um, it'll start thickening up a little bit. And I may add a little bit of black pepper. I don't think it needs salt. I did taste it. Um, but I'll let this simmer maybe for about 20 minutes and I'm ready to eat. I mean, it's going to be perfectly ready to eat. That's it. I'll end the video with a bite. All right, this is my last frozen bag of my rosemary sourdough uh, slices that I had made on February the 1st. I think I had two bags of this and we're down to this. Tony's been eating most of that because I was getting completely away from carbs for a while. And I was making sourdough almond bread and I really like it a lot. Uh, but I have put this back in my diet and I'm doing good with it. So it's a treat. I don't eat it every night. And I'll usually do half because the slices are really big. But it looks like I'm going to be doing some baking this weekend because I need to load my freezer back up. But that's pretty good. It lasted since uh, February. February 1st, so what are we in? March 20-something. Yep, time to bake again. And you can see I wrapped each one individually so they wouldn't stick together. I'm all about that juice, all that juice. Ooh, let's not forget this. Dot, dot.